Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yandan with Evening News. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi calls upon democratic nations to work together on cryptocurrency and ensure it does not end up in wrong hands. Governor Professor Jagdish Mukhe inducted as chief patron of Nagaland State Parat Scouts and Guides. Longland gets its long-awaited district jail today. And the 13th NAP IR Battalion emerges overall champions of Nagaland Police Sports Meet. As India achieved a milestone of vaccinating 100 crore people against COVID-19, All India Radio salutes all the people, doctors, nurses and others who make this possible. Even though the country has achieved this feat, we caution our listeners that the battle against COVID is not yet over. We appeal to our listeners to get vaccinated at the earliest and also help others to get vaccinated. During the festival season, please follow these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, maintain six feet for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact National Helpline numbers 011-2397-8046 and 1075 and State Helpline number 1800-345-0019. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has called upon all democratic nations to work together on a cryptocurrency and ensure it does not end up in wrong hands which can spoil the youth. Modi said that as a democracy and digital leader, India is ready to work with partners for its shared prosperity and security. Delivering his keynote address at a Sydney dialogue today, Modi gave a roadmap for democracies to work together that recognises national rights and at the same time promote trade, investment and larger public good. He said that India's digital revolution is rooted in the country's democracy, demography and the scale of our economy. The Prime Minister said that digital age is changing everything around us and it has redefined politics, economy and society. He emphasised that at the same time, we should not allow a few vested interests to misuse this openness. The Prime Minister listed five important transitions taking place in India. Governor of Nagaland, Professor Jagdish Mukhe, was inducted as the chief patron of the Nagaland State Parrot Scouts and Guides today at Rajpawan, Gohima. On the occasion, Raja Puraskar Award was also given to 23 scouts and 23 guides. Speaking at the program, Governor Jagdish Mukhe congratulated all the awardees of the Raja Puraska and encouraged them to strive hard to get award at the national level so as to bring laurels and glory to the state. Governor said the Parat Scouts and Guides movement is playing an active and important role in shaping the character of the youth of Nagaland. Governor Mukhe also exhorted the adult leaders to strive harder by giving their best to the young members so that the future of the state is strongly built with the latent talents they have in them. He further wished to see more visibility of scouting and guiding in the state with increased membership and involvement in more programs. State Chief Minister and Patron Nipirio in his speech said, Nagaland State Parrot Scouts and Guides will recruit more scouts and guides and create awareness of the various responsibilities. Long Leng got its long-awaited district jail today. It was officially inaugurated by Health and Family Welfare Minister S. Pangyopalm, an advisor for prisons, printing and stationery, H. Haying. Speaking at the inaugural program, Minister Bangyo Palm congratulated the prison department for successful completion of the district jail. He urged the public and the land donors to give their full cooperation to the government in order to bring development to the region. Furthermore, Pangyu asked the people of the district to get vaccinated as it is the only way to stay safe from COVID-19. Advisor Haying termed it as a historic day for the people of Longling as Nagaland has added another jail to the already existing 10 district jails and one central jail. More than 114 crore for the six like COVID vaccine doses have been administered in the country so far under the nationwide vaccination drive. Health Ministry also said that more than 128 crore vaccine doses have been provided to the states and union territories so far. 
It said that more than 22 crore, 45 lakh balanced and unutilized COVID vaccine doses are still available with the states and union territories to be administered. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on a YouTube channel, AIR News Kohima. To commemorate the celebration of 75 years of India's independence, Azadika Amrit Mahotsav, we present India at 75 quiz with AIR News Kohima, a special quiz on India's freedom movement in its glorious history, every Thursday in the evening news bulletin. And here goes our question of the week for English news bulletin. The acronym LAL BAL PAL is used for which freedom fighters? Name the movement with which they were associated with. I repeat, the acronym LAL BAL PAL is used for which freedom fighters name the movement with which they were associated with. Listeners can send their responses to the question to our email aiyanewskohima india75 at gmail.com or WhatsApp to 9485-239950 along with name and address. The first correct answer received from the participants will be selected as the winner and will be announced in tomorrow morning news at 7.30 a.m. Mission Director of State Urban Development Agency, Taka Dupa Ayer, yesterday inaugurated the patient at Denton Lodge at Mon. The project was undertaken by Urban Development Department under DAYNULM. Ayer, while highlighting on the various components of the scheme, said the lodge will be operated under a committee headed by the Deputy Commissioner or Administrator of the Town Council, wherein a nominal fee or rent will be charged for maintenance and food to be served at a subsidised rate. Ayer stated that the building has all the necessary facilities with 23 bedded rooms, 24 into 7 water supply, kitchen, dining room and others. 13th NAB IR Battalion emerged as the overall champions from amongst the 32 teams which participated at the Nogalan Police Duty Come Sports Meet. The meet concluded today at NAPTC Stadium, Jumukedima, in Dimapu. Gracing the closing ceremony, Deputy Chief Minister Wild Button said such event will help revive the spirit of oneness and renew the bond among the police families. Button expressed desire that such events should be held with more vigour and enthusiasm with an objective for developing the spirit of healthy competition. He said policing is a challenging job and can be stressful. However, with such sporting events, it will help improve the physical and mental health and fitness of officers and men alike. Stating that Nagalim Police has produced many outstanding sportspersons in various disciplines since the first police meet held in 1967, the Deputy Chief Minister endeavoured to expose more hidden talents among the Javans through such meet and nurture them to their fullest potentialities. State Cross Country Championship will be held tomorrow in Kohima. The event will take place from IG Stadium towards KMC Dada Parking Area and culminate at Indira Gandhi Stadium. In this regard, Deputy Commissioner Kohima Gregory Tejavile has informed that all vehicular movements along the stretch road from IG Stadium to KMC Dada Parking Area will be strictly restricted from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. He therefore advised all public to take alternate route for vehicular movement from High School Junction to NPCC Convention Hall to Sanur Bridge. The DC further asked all the vehicle owners to remove the vehicles parked along the highway on the said stretch by 8 a.m. And now to the news, here are the main points again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi calls upon democratic nations to work together on cryptocurrency and ensure that it does not end up in wrong hands. Governor Professor Jagdish Mukhi inducted as the chief patron of Nagaland State Parrot Scouts and Guides. Longland gets its long-awaited district jail today. And 13th NAB IR Battalion emerges overall champions of the Nagaland Police Sports Meet. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.